All right, so back to this whole France Niger situation in Western Africa. I'm glad it's they're finding some sort of peaceful, a uh, peaceful resolution to this whole thing. So uh, you know, last time I spoke about this, thousands, hundreds of thousands of the Nigerian citizens were marching to the French military base to protest, peaceful protest. You know pleading with them to leave their country alone and leave their resources back to their control because like you know france has been taking them for a ride for so 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 long niger is the seventh uranium producing country in the world number seven but yet they are the people are poor as hell they've got manganese they've got gold they've got uranium and other valuable mineral resources but france has so much control over that part of western africa that they can't sell to anybody but them they have the monopoly so they pretty much take the uranium for next to nothing and then france sells it on way above the msrp so niger now are wanting to sell to start selling their uranium now that they've got like some control back with their country due to the fact that america is not back in france with this whole thing america is backing off like look we've got uh dead soldiers over there in that region we can we can't explain to congress what they're doing there because they've been doing secret projects over there in africa of course it's all, it's all about resources they've got like some military base somewhere congress didn't even know about the u.s got that in that part of western africa then they got into some firefights with some uh, locals or some other uh, militants and a bunch of american soldiers got marked that's the <laughs> that's the trouble they're facing now having to explain that to congress so america is like well france you're on your, 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 your own right now man we're not even supposed to be in that region we're trying to hide ourselves so people don't know we're actually there up to our, up to our own shenanigans so you you're about you on your own man. and france has been acting stubborn like they know they like they, they didn't want to go but now they had to go because it's starting to, it, it could like bubble over and turn into like a hot conflict. So how many people can you fight? I know France is, I don't even know if France is a world power. They're, they're a strong country militarily. But how many countries can you fight? North Korea has got the eye on the uranium in Niger. Russia has got the eye there. Algeria is helping, uh, helping them out because Algeria has got an axe to grind with France. Because France really effed them up back in the day. So they've got a score to settle with them. And in a region where you don't really know how things operate, far from your comfort zone, it, it'd be just a death trap for the French troops. So they're deciding to pull some troops out. They've come to, to some sort of agreement with the new, with the current uh, government in Niger. So uh, France is deciding, well, they're going to move some troops off and, <laughs> and leave some there to help them fight Boko Haram or terrorists or whatever. The terrorists wouldn't be there in the first place if France and the West hadn't destroyed Libya and turned the place to a hotbed for slavery and terrorism going on there. And they were trickling down to the other parts of Africa. So they start the problem and then they come with a solution. <laughs> so the people are like, well, we can sort out the terrorism issue by ourselves. You just go. They're like, nah, we're gonna leave some we're gonna leave some troops behind to help you. You know, we must leave some troops behind to help. <laughs> This is madness. Well, at least they're leaving. And Niger is starting to like, uh, they're going to get back in the, the uranium market. And, but now they are increasing the sales of the uranium from 80 cents per kilogram uh, to about 200 euros, about 200 and some euros per kilogram. So it's going to bring significant gains to their financial sector which is very good for the country if the money gets you know distributed e uh, evenly to the people that actually need it you, you don't have kids starving and working in the minefields when you the country is making enough money per week to feed the entire country come on so i'm glad they come to some sort of peaceful resolution over there because nobody wants war especially in that area man so uh here the headline says uh france reportedly uh, in talks with Niger for possible withdrawal of uh, his troops. Discussions are underway for the partial withdrawal of troops amid free 
ties following July 26 coup, according to reports. So there, there, there you have it. They're gonna they withdraw the French troops from the Western African nation in the wake of the free ties following the coup in July. It's almost two months now, and this is still going on. You know, confirming the news, a former French uh, ambassador to Mali and Senegal, Nicolas Normand, told the news network, according to his sources, uh, talks are ongoing between the French and the Niger military to partially withdraw the troops. Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron has continued to back Bazoum, who remains in custody. Back him however you want. The country doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to Bazoum. It belongs to the people. And now you see the power of the people? When you have like hundreds of thousands of people, like all you have to do is non-compliance, man. The higher-ups or whoever are going to realize they can't, the country can't function without people. If you just, if, man, if everyone just decide not to go to work one day, don't go to work. This bill comes, this is, don't pay. Just everyone in the entire Western world, let's say whichever country you are, let's say Australia, for example, it's, not, it's an authoritarian state. Let's say everyone in Australia just says, nope, we're not doing no more. Country can't function. Country, fu country functions because the people are doing stuff. Because you, you comply. So if you really want change, just don't comply, which is what Niger uh, uh, kind of did. A renewed partnership between Niger and French nuclear group Areva, that Areva is the one in charge that controls the entire um, nuclear program in France. They're the ones that really get all the uranium from Niger and then they give them pittance. It, it, it will allow the Western African uh, state to directly sell 1,800 tons of uranium to the world market over the next two years. You see, you see that? This French group here will allow, <laughs> will allow Niger that, 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 that just tells you who really run things, doesn't it? Areva, that company there, operates both of Niger's existing uranium mines located in the Saharan North and until last year had exported the country's entire production, paying a fixed royalty to the former French colony. It's, not, it's, a, current former, uh, it's a current former French colony and it's not paying a fixed royalty to them. He's paying it to the president, Bazoum, which takes the loot and share among his friends. And compared to what they get, what French gets when they sell the uranium to what they give to the people, it's like, oof. they were giving them like, oof. let's say they sell it for 3.5 billion. They were giving them about 300 or 400 uh, million. And that never even gets to the people. Algeria announced a six-month transitional plan to restore constitutional and democratic order in Niger late last month, following the proposal of the coup leader, General Abdurrahman Chachatra, blah, 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 to, <laughs> to return to Western African countries to civilian rule within three years. Well, to cut the long story short, China is there, you know, just to to build a relationship with Niger since they know all right fine France is on the way out let's go in and you know try and have a peaceful kind of deal with these people and see if we can get some of that uranium because you know everybody wants that uranium you know it's it's a good step to progress that the country is trying to uh Take their fate into your, into their own hands. But my main issue now is not by all this, all this. What's going to happen after the French leave? You still don't have freedom unless you have your own currency backed with your resources. Because we know the dollar is just a ticking time bomb. It's an it's an, an entire economy based off of debt. It's the, it's like a house of cards. It's going to crash sooner or later. That's why BRICS are making their own currency backed by gold and natural resources. So Niger. This whole talk about this and all that, trying to get the French out, that's something else. You know, it's good. Get the French out and all that. But create a currency backed by your resources. That's the main thing you have to do. You have to create a currency. You can't be using currency that the colonial masters don't even use no more. The same people that impose that currency on you don't even use that currency no more. They use the euros now. So why are you still using that? You still don't have freedom unless you can control your own financial aspect of your own country. So that should be the main thing 
that if you focus on after this, 